good day and welcome to AGK's Vinyl Life. I'm your host Anthony K and on this episode I'm doing another unboxing. That's right, it's an unboxing of a brand new box set that just was released on Friday, yesterday. Uh, it arrived this morning. Uh, today is Saturday. This arrived in the, mor in the mail this morning, 24 hours after it was released. And uh, I'll be showing you guys it's both a CD and LP and I believe it's Blu-ray box set. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys. It's actually two box sets, two separate box sets, uh, but they are of the same uh, album and artist. And I've already opened the packaging, the outer box, and uh, took out the, the CD uh, uh, package from there. And this is the LP box here, which I've already pre-scored to save time. So this way we can get right into it and show you guys what's in this box set. And uh, this box set is from one of my uh, favorite... Uh, in my top three artists of all time, people that follow my channel know my top three artists of all time are, of course, Golden Earring, Alice Cooper, and the Pet Shop Boys. That's right, Pet Shop Boys, my favorite pop artists of all time, synth pop artists, pop artists, uh, but they are in my top three artists of all time. I'm excited for this release. Uh, this, release was, uh, this release was announced earlier in the year, and I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered both the CD box set and the LP box set. And so, like, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. So this is brand new from the Pet Shop Boys, just released this Friday. Uh, June 16th and it is called smash that's right smash like I said I pre-scored this box so we're gonna open the box take it out and here it is this is smash by the pet shop boys this is a 6 LP uh, slip jacket type of box set uh, and this is the complete singles collection of the pet shop boys from uh, 1985 to 2020 it's a complete collection of their singles from 1985 to 2020 I'm gonna score the uh, end and we're gonna have a look at the records and things inside and also uh, also arrived was of course the CD version this is the the CD version which is a 5 CD uh, to uh, to blu-ray it is blu-ray it is a 5 CD and two blu-ray version of the same album but it also has uh, some more things in here and we'll get to that in a few minutes we'll get to the cd box set in a few minutes pet shop boy smash like i said my top three artists of all time and a lot of people are saying but anthony you you have more pet shop boys than anything you probably have all the songs that are in that box set you probably have everything that's in there well actually i don't um, because this is the single edits the single releases uh, of all the pet shop boys singles and yes, I have most of the, I pretty much have most of the uh, 80s 7-inch singles and 12-inch singles. Um, but in the 90s, 2000s, and 2010s, most of their singles were on uh, CD. And I only, I only have a couple CD singles of Pet Shop Boys. Uh, I have a ton of digital singles. Uh, certainly in the 1990s, as, as vinyl faded away here in North America, uh, most of their singles on vinyl we never got here. We, we got the odd CD single here. Uh, in the in the 90s and 2000s and in the 2010s the Pet Shop Boys are, have been releasing a lot of their singles uh, mostly digitally on you know things like iTunes and whatnot so this is the first time uh, a lot of this stuff has ever been to vinyl uh, so you know certainly the early early 80s things were released on 7 inch singles but the 90s uh, 2000s and 2010s pretty much most of the 90s and 2000s uh, 2000-2010 stuff was not on vinyl uh, like some of it was on CD singles so this is a fantastic collection to have it's a complete encompassing of their entire singles uh, from 85 to 2020 their last album being Hotspot so super excited to have this because finally to have all these things together on vinyl in one place when many of them I had on either CD singles or or 7 inch singles or 12 inch singles uh, it's just spectacular to have this so excited for this box set and this one and I'll tell you about this one after so I'm just going to pause the camera here while I unscore and, and, and open the end of this and, uh, so we can get the discs out and have a look at them. And uh, I'll, be right, I'll be back right after this. And we're back. And I hope the wind and the rustling in the leaves is not creating too much noise. I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, but it was such a beautiful day outside today. I decided to film this video outside on the back deck at the table. Um, but yeah, I've scored the package and we've got it open. And so I'm going to see for the first time with you guys what's in these box sets. 
Uh, it's a total of 55 singles in these box sets, in both of them, 55 singles, uh, 6 LP in this. Uh, correction, it was, it's 3 CD, 3 CD to Blu-ray before the break there, I said uh, 5 CD. It's 3 CD and uh, 2 Blu-rays uh, in, the, in the CD version, uh, which I've scored as well. So let's, let's have a look, shall we? And, and what this is here, and this is really cool. I read this on the pet, on one of the Pet Shop Boys interviews. The cover design of this box is actually a collage of all their music videos. All the covers of the, all, uh, I think music videos or singles. It was one or the other. Um, music videos or singles, it's the covers. And what they've done is they've smushed them all together and then blurred them. So this is uh, actually, they've smashed all the, uh, <laughs> all the, the, the visuals from these CD singles together into a collage and then they blurred the collage to come up with this really cool packaging for Smash. So let's uh, have a look, shall we? So we're just gonna slide it out. And the first thing I'm sliding out is the Smash booklet. Beautiful, beautiful LP booklet here. Uh, and there we have, those are the, those are the, all those right there, there you go. Those are all the things that were, were collaged together and then blurred to create the, the wonderful, wonderful cover art that you're gonna be seeing on all these various sleeves, uh, various generations of that cover art. Uh, so there, there's a collection of their singles, uh, as you can see right there. And then there's, of course, a detailed description of everything going on uh, on each single. And I have many of these things on. The early ones I have on 7-inch. Um, but certainly anything after the 90s and on, I don't uh, have in physical format. Because, uh, you know, some of them I had. I had the odd CD single and, you know, of course, all, those, all their LPs. But uh, a lot of their CD singles, very hard to find. Uh, so a beautiful, beautiful book. I'll have a look at, my, at that myself a little later. I won't show you guys every page. It, it basically is doing the same thing all the way through. Uh, talking about, there's notes on here from Neil Tennant. Neil Tennant and Chris Lowe have actually done personal notes for every single one of these singles. So it'll be, it'll be a great read while I listen to these albums to read Neil Tennant and Chris Lowe, Lowe's notes on each and every single that they've put there. Notes on each and every single. Uh, have been done by Chris Lowe and Neil Tennant. Of course, everything has been remastered. It's all been remastered by Chris Lowe. Uh, he's remastered everything for this album. It's all remastered, and even the video portion on this CD, on this over here, has all been remastered. Everything's remastered. So this is going to just sound spectacular, and and I'm so excited. This is probably one of my favorite releases of all of 2023, for hands down, without doubt. So there's the Smash booklet. And let's get into the records, shall we? They're all on black wax, so I will, I'll, maybe I'll show you one, but I won't pull them all out. So this is uh, record one, uh, which of course starts off with West End Girls. I'm not going to read you the track listing because there's 55 songs. You want to know the track listings, uh, just go online and check it out. But of course, people will know that, you know, it starts off with uh, their debut smash single, West End Girls. Uh, and this, this album seems to go through, uh, through to Always On My Mind. Uh, is on here and heart so this kind of covers their first couple albums of sing singles so there's the cover for record one all of them are in, have an inner liner as well and as you can see how they've how they were seeing some of these these blurred things uh, of the CD singles so it shows all the singles that are on this record one on the inner sleeve and the inner sleeve of course and there's the records of wow the records even the records are very cool as well even the center wow even the center labels of the records uh, have custom labels i wasn't expecting that custom labels on the center labels i am thrilled let's pull out record two real quick record two continues on with the introspective years with domino dancing and carries on through to the discography album which was their first uh, you know, greatest hits album uh, with was it worth it and dj culture um, so fabulous fabulous and here's the inside yeah <laughs> mirroring my t-shirt apparently mirroring my t-shirt another one of the blurred images and of course they've got all the 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 singles covers and once again wow i guess i'm going to show you guys the vinyl different center labels for each center label on this one wow just impressive uh, of course this is released by parlophone records uh, this is looking absolutely spectacular we're getting on to record three which starts with the very album uh, and can you forgive her and this goes right through till the bilingual album with single bilingual and uh, uh, yeah, that's from the very, and there's another one of the blurred things. 
like I said, the box cover is a blur of all these blurs. There's the single covers, and let's have a look at the center labels. We might as well. Wow, check that out. Look at those center labels. Isn't that spectacular? I wasn't planning to show, to show you guys all the, the records, but, you know, with the slip, with the slip jack, with the... Um, with the beautiful inner sleeves and the beautiful labels, I guess I'm going to show you everything uh, really quickly here. Uh, next up is record four, and this one starts with, uh, continues with bilingual, and it looks like it goes through till flamboyant, which would have been a single from their uh, pop art album, which followed their uh, album called Release. Uh, so there is disc four. Let's have a quick look at the inside. There we go. There's the inside, the inside of it. And let's quickly have a peek at the center label, and there are the oopsie, and there are the center labels. Try not to wreck it all here. Uh, I'm very excited, very excited. Uh, record number five, record number five, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the quality, this thing just feels so quality. Uh, record number five continues on. This goes to the um, the I'm with Stupid era, uh, so the fundamental album. And this goes from the fundamental album through to what it looks like. Uh, um, it follows the fundamental, the Yes album, and the Elysium album. Looks like it goes into the Elysium, Elysium album on record number five. There we have the inner sleeves, the inner sleeves, and the record label for, for this album. Record labels for this album. Wow, I am so freaking impressed, man. Pet Shop Boys, man, you guys have just killed it with this. Wow. And last but not least, disc number six, which starts with the electric album with vocal, and it goes to their latest album, Hotspot, with finishing up with Monkey Business, I Don't Wanna. Uh, so this goes through the electric album, the super album, right here, super album, and the uh, later, their last album in 2020, uh, Hotspot. Fantastic. And let's have a look at the inner. There's the inner. There's the inner liner. And a quick, quick peek at the center label, and there is the center label for record six. Fantastic! I am just blown away by the quality of this. It feels good. That these are all beautiful quality cardboard, beautiful quality inners, just spectacular, spectacular, spectacular. And uh, next, we will just slide these back in. Fifty-five singles, a lot of them top ten singles, some number one singles chronologically presented through the years in these six beautiful LPs but uh, made in Germany uh, by Polyphone Records. I am absolutely, this is, I'm in heaven man, I'm in heaven with this. This is just absolutely thrilling. And let's have a quick look at the CD box now. It's all of, also available on the CD box set. It's three CDs. Let's pull this out. Uh, let's up, open the contents. Once again we have the little booklet. We have a little booklet on uh, once again in this box set, a little mini booklet, basically probably pretty much the same thing as the LP booklet, uh, so I won't spend too much time, but once again with the uh, very extended, <laughs> pretty thick little booklet, uh, pretty thick little booklet, but once again all the liner notes once again. And people are like, Anthony, why did you get the CD version and, and the LP version? Um, the CD version will be great for, you know, like the car or whatever, um, nice to have uh, for sure. Uh, but the main reason I got the CD version was for the two Blu-ray discs inside it. Um, but we'll, we'll just go through all the discs here. Here's the first disc. The first disc, which has 18 tracks on it. Let's see what they did for the discs. Oh, there we go. Very cool. Very cool what they did with the discs. Uh, the, next, the, next, the next CD. They're all in these little mini gatefold CDs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And once again, another, uh, another, uh, what you call it, uh, label, and then CD three, CD three, which in turn has its great little, great little label, CD three. And you know, while it's great to have all these things on CD as well as the the vinyl, um, like I said, the CDs will be great to just play in the car. Uh, more than anywhere because obviously at home I'm going to be playing the vinyl. But the main reason I got it was for these two di discs right here. This is the main reason I bought the CD box set. These are Blu-ray discs. That's right, Blu-ray discs. And these are the complete videos. That's right. All the actual music videos and they've all been remastered. 
the entire music videos, all the music videos for all of these singles. So all 55 music videos for all 55 of these singles have been remastered and presented here on two Blu-ray discs. Uh, Blu-ray disc one features the music videos from the singles. As you can see, there's Blu-ray disc one. So this features all the music videos, a uh, total, sorry, a total of 52, 52 music videos all remastered i'm so thrilled to be gonna sit down and watch this this like i said worth the price of the box set alone uh the main reason i bought the cd version uh, 52 music videos and then what is on the disc five is uh video extras and on this video extras we have 12 12 more music videos on the videos extra blu-ray and it's going to sound and look great being on blu-ray on blu-ray discs and for example these ones are uh, some alternate versions of songs uh, for example opportunities let's make a lot of money original version the Panonario 1986 video uh, the domino dancing extended version so we have some of the extended version videos on here even all over the world live at the o2 arena uh, we have the on social media lyric video and the burning the heather official lyric we have the lyric videos so you pretty much get the entire uh, video discography of the Pet Shop Boys music videos uh, in this CD box set as well. And that's it. That's all. I am absolutely blown away. I've been looking forward to this for months and now it's finally here. Pet Shop Boys Smash. Once again, a one word title like all Pet Shop Boys albums. Pet Shop Boys Smash 6 LP box set, 3 CD, 2 Blu-ray CD box set. Uh, I'm in heaven. I'm going to just go and and pop out now for a while and enjoy PSB, uh, my top one of my top three favorite bands of all time. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. And as I always say, well, I can't say rock and roll in this one, but I'll say let's just pop and roll. Pop and roll. See you next time.